when men take an oath to God, that is the right hand. That's the mark of the beast. This is what we're dealing with. Men that swear to women send them to war, and then they don't go themselves. So they sent her to the baby ward only to rob her child. That's what the dragon does. Revelation. It's not over with. The prophecy is repeating. Then that would mean that every man is born the dragon, the devil, under the seed of liar, and must be reborn. When they cut your roots to God, tell you that you're from water or something else other than what your fathers told you. They've replaced something, the truth. Well, how can you build with roots without that? Devil's root is cut out. It doesn't honor the women holy. It attacks them, breaks their oath, doesn't repent back. Because it's not that man does it; it's that man doesn't repent from doing it. Christ has the mother's blood. That means when Jesus is on the cross, all he has is Father's word, mother's blood. That means that in order for Jesus to be life. To have life crucified, he had to keep the Father's word and the Mother's blood, holy one, his whole life. Well, that's why we as men build on his blood and our mothers, because every if you don't believe the earthly, you can't believe the heavenly. Well, the heavenly is clear that it's by God's command. Same thing that made her carry the blood, and we carry the word. That's why man is made first, given the command. Therefore. When you see wolf in sheep's clothing, it will be men eating women's words. He'll be bringing his mother's word outside of the house. Well, that was the command, because you adhere to your wife's word and not my command. Cursed everything, for your sakes, for our sake. Yes, so you learn the difference between a man and a wolf in sheep's clothing. Adam so fig leaf and hid. Men hide. They don't step out in front holding command. They will play like they did right, and then they will rob the wife. Thus they become the beast, the mark of the beast, the right hand, the oath. Rather than to life, it will be forced to die, divorce, death, forced on the mother, robbing her baby and taking it. Well, that's the works of the devil, because when the devil comes in, he removes the man from his guard. Literally, he removes the man from his guard. Rather than pay people to come rob his family, the difference between a lion and a man. Is that the lion will not destroy his family, but will die for it? That's why it's called the Lion of Judah. All the wives and children are blameless. He goes before them. What Adam would not do? Adam, where are you? Adam, what happened? Well, Adam says her fault, and you gave it to me because he adhered to women, moving to rumors and lies. What we call old ladies' wives' tales, as it says in Scripture. You believe old ladies' wives? They went and got something other than the oath. Anything in the world, Sumerian, Babylonian, Egyptian, university, whatever it be, they went and got something else other than the oath, because God is at hand, and your women and children are the kingdom of heaven, and they force themselves into it with violence, because they will not pay the price. His life, which is His hand, He received her hand. That's ten, and then God's hand is the one that did it. That's fifteen. That's why Hosea pays fifteen silver. For his harlot of a wife, and he covers her blameless, no matter what she does, and she does a lot. But that's God's covenant. God gave him his wife. Other men that do manly things to rob the family do not do the covenant, because if he did, he'd be in front. He wouldn't be paying people to rob them. He'd be protecting them, like the Lion of Judah. He must eat the bread. He must be the man. And if he will not eat the bread, then he is wrong. And the bread is in his hand. That's the lazy man. So he'll use children as shields. He'll hide behind them. He'll come up with any excuse, worshiping the golden calf, anything but his command. That's why they had to be slain at Mount Exodus in, in Mount Sion in Exodus 32. They wouldn't be men. Mother did her war; she handled her part. So then you can understand what you don't put before the gate is the women. Thus, they're the purple gate. Each one of them. So, gate hell's gates are the same as heaven's gate. Yes. Ex is do you turn to it to attack it, take the baby that God gave it, or do you get in front and defend it and guard your daughters? Because if you do not, 
then that means that you are giving them over to others to make whores out of them. Send them to school so they're not virgins when they get married. That's what men do. All men are found taking part with the devil to do this. You have to wake up and repent to get on guard. All men have been found guilty so they all are brought to dust equally. And this is why. Because she's the pearl gate and you weren't defending it. So then rather guard the home, it turns you back against it. It makes it where you literally kill it. So if you're killing the home, that's not good. It's really bad. When you're going forward for one God and then you find you were going to destroy the home, man, that's, it, it breaks your heart. When your heart is broken, God won't refuse you. That's why God has made man in such a way to learn to care for his home. He receives it, he loves it, finds out he's wrong after receiving it. Then his heart breaks. So then he'll get back right and learn that only God can help him guard his home. Because if he doesn't do by God's issues, he's wrong. That's why you receive the staff, the Ten Commands, the testimony written from your fathers. Because they're by word, because remember they're in the sin. So the mother must be the lifeblood that you carry through. And the devil's going to always hide under her, man. But you keeping the staff, the command, and the testimony of your fathers in your land, that's Bill of Rights, Declaration, Ten Command, the Oath, the Vows. That's how you eat up the enemy and make it to heaven. Otherwise, you're chasing your tail like a serpent. You're always, or like a dog chasing his tail, or the serpent in his tail. Don't do that. You've got to go forward. The head has to be the head. The tail will always be talking shit, but you have to be the head. You have to remember that your report is divine, that you received it from God. If you don't do this, it's all lost. All of it is lost to you if you don't do this. You must remember that you trump them and that your women are a gift from heaven. If they're bleeding blood, they're chastised, they're loved. That's the root of life. Therefore, in order to get before her, you have to go before her. But you can't in this life unless you believe God from heaven. Then your report is divine. And thus you do take shepherd head because the man received the command before he received the wife. That is, again, received the wife because it's blown in him. But when he's first born, life blown in, then the command, then the command. Or they're sacking the woman with outsiders. Imagine playing on a team. You can understand sports. Your daddy's fed you enough of that. They didn't feed you no command, no word of God, no oath, keeping your wife, no, no man virtues. But you can understand playing on two teams, saying it's all about team, all about team, all about God. And then when it comes down, you're sacking your own wife with outsiders. I thought you were on the same team. Well, they traded up. They traded down. Well, whatever they thought they did, they sacked mother with a kid. Therefore, they're removing shepherds, stealing babies, just like it says in Revelation. The dragon, period. They are doing the dragon's work. And if they're after any man, it's because he keeps command and the oath and guards the woman. That's because that's who the dragon goes after. Well, he's like these skelly chains. You pull the chain and they all get pulled because none of them will hold command. They're all like liquid. They all run. They all move. And none of them will hold the pillar until they do. As is every man born. That's why they say all men. Well. When one comes out of the man to be the man, he holds the command, and that's to be reborn. One that holds to the charge, the truth, as Jacob did to be Israel. That's why Laban said, what can I do for my daughters? And the kids she bore, they bore. Not his kids, theirs. They're his. He said, come now, let us make a covenant. It's God's eternal covenant, bone by bone. If this isn't fed to your sons, they will come out pointing their fingers at you. And that's why they take them in Gentile court. They overrule God and the mom, removing shepherd fathers, of course, so they can feed the son. So he burst new wine. That's to fill the old wineskins with new wine to replace their father. 